Ooh, hello, buddy. This is RJ Epic here, and welcome to ranked number 32. That is right, I'm back with another episode of ranked. Uh, trying to catch up here uh, a bit. I only have one more to go as of right now, um, so I'm caught up. So that's why I'm doing this one. I have a shit ton of comics still to put away, but I'm kind of waiting until I get all the ranks done so I can just have a big spree of putting books away because I actually have kind of have fun putting my books away. Uh, so yeah, um, anyway, if you don't know what ranked is, where I go through my books for my latest haul, or hauls in this case, as this was a couple hauls back now, um, and I rank the comics from my least favorite to my favorite, um, and also say what the cover of the haul is and all that stuff, so yeah, um, we're gonna get right into this one. Just because I don't want to take too long recording this video because I have two other things at least that I'm going to be recording today. Um, watch you. I've been meaning to do a stream for days now. But I plan on later on today streaming Batman Arkham Knight. So if you want to see me play that game uh, for the first time on stream, then you should tune in uh, and stay tuned for that. I'm hopefully going to go for maybe even a few hours. So stay tuned for that. Um really gonna try to bang that out but at right as soon as this video is done i'm gonna start uploading this one and then i'm gonna go and record an all new comic call because that's right um as of as of last night because it's sunday yeah last night i got more new comics got 20 free comics to show you guys um and six of those are variants um it's like 17 out of 23 or books i can read whatever but just good times ahead got some new books to read really excited i might start reading them today too but we'll see if not probably tomorrow might try to finish them between tomorrow and tuesday because uh uh because i don't want to get um uh, caught behind with what's happening this week with school starting and everything so yeah um so anyway i'm going to show off the comics quickly this is a really hard one to rank and i feel like i kind of didn't rank this one properly but i'm going with the flow i'm going with what i have written down i'm going to show you guys the comics uh now that i'm going to be ranking today and we're going to get right into this um so i have generations the strongest totally awesome hawk and banner hawk one shot um with both covers there um with the um um i forget who did this variant cover but with both those covers i got the spectacular spider-man peter park spectacular spider-man issue number two um issue six is going to be the last number until it hits into legacy numbers uh secret empire uprising issue number one with uh the second cover uh here and i forget who does that one too um got mr miracle issue number one that's a one shot by the way out of 12 one of 12 with the regular inference for that both covers feels great apparently this book is doing pretty well and it's kind of getting a bit hard to find so i'm glad i'm picking that up it's not by the way pull list update um there is one minor update. Mr. Miracle is now on my pull list. I want to make sure that I'm able to pick this one up because, holy shit, this was a good book. And we'll get into that uh, quite a bit later on because, you know what, a little bit of a spoiler, this is near the top of the rankings this time around. And I feel like it's going to stay there because, holy shit, but we'll get into that after. I got The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 30. What a great issue of Amazing Spider-Man. We'll talk about that after, too, with the Bishop X-Men trading card variant. Great cover. Um, then I got Cable, issue number 3. Got Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe again, issue number 2. The Walking Dead, issue number 169. Lines We Cross. Astonishing X-Men, issue number 1. Regular cover. And the Psylocke action figure variant which love it love psylocke um ben riley the scarlet spider issue number five poison ivy the cycle of life and death issues number one through six one two the whole set three in one go that's how i like to do fins when i can three i mean four sorry i miscounted five and six 
and uh, some beautiful covers and beautiful art on the inside and a beautiful story and we'll talk about that later i'm just teasing you guys right now um i'm really excited right now i'm pumped i feel like accomplishing a lot today and i plan on it too so yeah secret warriors issue number two after a great first issue uh i'm basically gonna be picking up the series it's not on my poll list yet but it probably will end up on there got generations of the phoenix number one one shot Jean gray and the phoenix um i'm actually kind of on hold of picking up generations right now because all the covers aren't coming in that i want so i can't pick up the Hawkeye or Thor one yet because I haven't got all the covers I want into the shop so I don't want to pick it up until I get all the covers so I might have to skip over those ones or something or we'll see what happens or maybe I'll just pick it up we'll see but Generations is on hold right now so that's one thing you shouldn't expect I got the Wolverine one of course um, which you'll see in the next rank but um don't expect any generations in the haul that I'm going to record after this. I uh, got True Believers, Amazing Spider-Man, Brand New Day. Uh, got, and then these are just two covers that I want to show off. I did sort of read this one, but I just kind of flipped through it. Spawn Director's Cut, the gold Encore variant, beautiful cover. I can put this one aside now. And Secret Empire, Shin number 1, Hydra Hero variant of the Hulk. Put that one aside. Also, the Hydra Hero variant I'm missing right now is number three, which is Thor. Um, and also, I didn't haven't gotten one for number ten. Which spoiler alert, I kind of picked up the rest of Secret Empire besides Brave New World and uh, Underground. And I have to wait for Omega. But like of the main Secret uh, Empire story, I'm, I kind of picked that up, which you'll see in the hall later on. Um, but yes, um, we're going to get right into this with my number 14 slash my least favorite. This is more out of, I, this is my least favorite more out of tradition and because I can, I feel like I can't really put a true believers that high in the list unless it's really good. Um, but Amazing Spider-Man, Brand New Day, True Believers is my least favorite. It was a great story still. It was fun. I'm uh, glad I picked it up. Uh, I'm just kind of picking up all true believers lately. Uh, I'm going to stop doing that though actually because I just there's so there's been so many coming out and I just I don't need all the true believers and even though it's a bit cheaper but I I just wanted to get all of them this month with the Jack Kirby stuff that mm, all the ones in my shop got in so yeah. But yeah. My least favorite. I don't know what else to say about it. It was a pretty good story still um my number 13 is gonna have to go to sally because i know i did enjoy this one but it, it, this one did drag a little bit and i actually don't remember everything that happened in this book i mean i i, I kind of do actually now it's coming back to me but it's just it's not a memorable book i guess it's not like it's a nice addition to the secret empire um story but it's nothing like that important. Um, and it is Secret Empire Uprising issue number one. I basically picked this up more to be a completionist than actually wanting it. Although I also kind of did want it even just for this goddamn cover. Because I like this cover. The variant's cool too. I'm glad I got the regular and the variant um, for one of the one shots. I did my shop never even got Secret Empire United in at all. And Underground they only got the regular. So I kind of wanted the, each of the... I kind of wanted the variant for each or whatever, but yeah, cool. Got both these covers. It was it was a good story still. I did enjoy it. Um, the t the group interaction between characters. Uh, the interactions between characters were great. Um, and uh, I I I always like uh, seeing Spider Man Black Widow interact. Um, seeing Nadia, it was great. I, I I just I don't know what else to say to be honest. So I'm just gonna move on now to my number. 12 which this one's not ranked that high yet again but i did enjoy this issue a lot better than the last issue and that is deadpool kills the marvel universe again issue number two number one was a bit disappointing but this one i thought was a lot better um the story's improving at least by this issue uh really I really enjoyed this one actually. Uh, he Deadpool targets the Spider Man a man characters and woman. Um, spoiler alert: He kills Spider Man, Peter Parker, Spider Woman, uh, and Porcupine, um, and he kills Miles Morales. And this the group of heroes trying to stop Deadpool is, and it's all a great dynamic. And at the end with the villains, 
um, scheme and whatever. Then Gwenpool shows up. Um, it's, it's it's starting to become a pretty fun um, mini series. So yeah, the issue four is out now. I gotta get issues three and four. Hopefully both or at least one of them in the next haul. Besides the one I'm gonna be recording later today, which. The one later today is 34, so in Hall 35, hopefully I'll get at least one of those issues, but we'll see. Um, and, of course, the miniseries finishes next month in September, or this month in September. I'm so sorry, it's not next month, it's this month, because as of right now, when I'm recording this, uh, it is Sunday, September 3rd at 2.46 p.m. when I'm recording this, my time. So, yeah, I'm actually recording this pretty early in the day. Um, for me, so, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna move on now, of course, to my number 11, and I was hoping this would rank higher, but it just didn't turn out that way, I'm already 11 minutes in, I need to speed this up a bit, but it is Generations, the strongest one shot, um, this was a really good story, I enjoyed it, the dynamics between Amadeus and Banner were cool, um, the real awesome story thread in this, though, was the, um, the, um, dynamic of the hawks between the characters how banners is completely out of control and amadeus is starting to lose control of his hawk and start to become more of a monster and just a realization uh of that between his inner monologue with amadeus but and banner comes up with that conclusion on his own like it's in a demic statement from the army it was a really fun story i uh, really enjoying generations to be honest these one shots the three i've read so far or the five that have come out have been pretty good and yeah i don't know what else to say uh just good times i recommend you read it i i might as well pick up generations you get a little taste of a character you might not have read before if you haven't read all of these characters i mean why not? I, I That's why I'm doing it. I can't wait till it's over, though, so I can get out of the way. But still, I'm just enjoying it. Will it last? Now, moving on to my number 10. This one's ranked quite a bit lower than I expected it to. But it is Cable, issue number 3. Possibly my least favorite issue of Cable so far. Yet, I really enjoyed this one still. I'm really enjoying Cable. Trust me on that. Um, it's been a great series so far. Action-packed. Great dialogue when there is dialogue. Um, the story slowly unravels, but it's great. And we're left on a cliffhanger with Conquest. Um, has knocked out Cable. And it's a great story. Great story. What can I say? Um, if I get into back into the recap and review videos anytime soon, I might uh, kick one of the first books I might do is Cable, or I might actually go back and finish the Black Widow series of Recap and Fuse, because I did the first two or three. Um, so, yeah, I, at some point, I, I, I really, I need to go back to this videos, but really enjoying Cable. I still need to pick up the variant for number one that's sitting in my pull list, but yeah, good times. Um, my number... Nine is gonna have to. I was hoping this one ranked a lot higher too, like right towards the top. But Sally is just not the case. I was a tad bit disappointed with this issue, and I might go into that a bit. But I don't know how much I'm gonna go into it, or if I can even think how to go into it right now. Um, notice how this row is full. That is no more because Astonishing X Men number one is my number nine. Um, I know a lot of people are going crazy about this book right now, saying, Oh, it's the best X book out there. This book is so great. This is the re X Men Reborn. Classic stories reborn. This is the X Men we've wanted. But it's not that good. It's not as good as everyone is making it out to be, at least in my opinion. And that might create some controversy from me saying that, but this is an overrated book. Not saying I didn't enjoy it, because I did really enjoy it, but I was a bit disappointed. Um, mainly with the characters themselves, I think. Or maybe, no. I was disappointed with the characters themselves in certain senses. And I was also disappointed with the story, because I thought the story was actually a little bit underwhelming. It started out real strong. And it ended real strong. But the middle of the book, besides the little character interactions and character story, I like character stories that were there, it just wasn't that. It wasn't so exciting. And the character of the Shadow King doesn't really excite me as the villain. Um, maybe he will. 
I mean, not saying it was a bad film choice or anything, but I don't know. Some of the ca some of the group members on this team just don't do that much for me. Um, love Old Man Logan. I uh, love Rogue. Rogue is one of my favorite X Men. Um, it seems I just I don't know. It's just I feel like the series is gonna get better as it goes along, but it's just so much was packed into this issue that it kind of like and what the Beast was just thrown in there out of nowhere. And Mystique's supposed to be in I'm wondering if Beast is actually Mystique. Because Beast is on the cover and Mystique is. But if Beast is in the series, I don't know. He was in the original Assange. And I mean, it'd be cool if Beast was in the series. I love Beast. But I don't, I don't know. I, I, I like Cyclo uh, Psylocke too. Um, that was nice. Uh, she was great. Uh, Gambit was oh, alright. I mean, I, I personally, I think Gambit is uh, possibly one of the most overrated characters. Phantom X, I don't like Phantom X that much, to be honest, but this is probably the most I've enjoyed him. I mean, he's supposed to be kind of a dick and you're not kind of supposed to like him, but, like, I'm starting to like the character more of this issue. I mean, it was, it's kind of a nice dynamic to the group, uh, having Phantom X around, because, like, he's the dick character, and it's cool. Uh, it was cool, he was an X-Force too. I mean, I don't really like Phantom X, but... Whatever, he can be there. It doesn't bug me too much. Angel, it shows Archangel here, but it's really Angel just fighting off his inner Archangel. And that's that's cool. I like Angel. That's all good. Bishop, also another overrated character in my opinion. He didn't really do much for me or the story, really. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it is about this book, but I was just a bit disappointed. Uh, I don't know. It just it was... It kind of felt so set up, the story. Like, oh, how convenient that all these characters were around. Oh, my. Um, but, like, I mean, it's supposed to be that, of course. You gotta get the team, the group, somehow. But, like, it feels too forced. This this th this story feels too forced. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It was still really good, and I really enjoyed it, which is why I beat out all these other books over here. But... I was I I think it's also because I built this up like I'm gonna love this book I'm gonna love it like I can't wait to read it like I was so hyped to read this book so I think I built it up too much in my head that now I disappoint it myself because it didn't live up to my standards so it's also my fault why I didn't enjoy this as much but I just I don't know I I, I imagine the series will get better and it might end up on my pull list at some point I'm gonna keep reading it. Uh, I should have a regular end variant for number two waiting for me at the shop, which I did not pick up from my next comic call. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to move on now because that took up way more time than I wanted. We're 18 minutes in. I still have quite a few books to go. Um, so my number eight, we're getting right into this, is going to be Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number two. Another great outing for Spectacular Spider-Man. Sadly, it's my least favorite Spider-Book this time around, but I still really enjoyed it. Um... The sister stuff was exciting at the end of the first issue, but it was it was it wasn't the best because uh, I didn't know what was going on with the whole sister thing. I didn't read the uh, the original graphic novel of Family Business or whatever. Um, but she was brainwashed, all that I was like, eh. and the flashback stuff I didn't really care for. But the um, continuous story, um, Ironheart being in here. Uh, the Space Grid team up book, kind of, but Spider-Man trying to figure out what's going on, uh, the interactions with him, Human Torch, and it, it seemed, having the sister, in quotes, was nice, and that was great, um, um, him going on the date was probably my favorite part of this issue, the date stuff is hilarious, and I'm loving it, um, but yeah, I, I'm still gonna read this series, I have faith in this series, and it's going back to Legacy number one anyway, so I'm gonna keep picking it up, hopefully enjoy it. And yeah, if I ever if it ever comes to a point where I'm not really enjoying this book, I might just drop it and pick up the occasional old issue of Spectacular Spider-Man. I want to get a good run of Spectacular going, so yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on now to my number seven, which is gonna be The Walking Dead issue number one sixty nine, lines recross. Um, this was yet again another great issue of The Walking Dead. It has been on fire lately um robert kirkman is writing pages on fire um and charlie allard art is magnificent 
Um, but why I say but? No, this no buts here. This is a great issue. We had some plot lines tied nicely, some some promises of great stuff in the future. Uh, Carl says how he did talk to Andrea, um, and Andrea did know that he killed Ben or whatever. Um, she he as he was talking to Lydia. Uh, Rick finds out about the other group that Eugene's uh, been talking to, the one girl over the radio. This was, this was a really good issue. Um, Walking Dead has been on fire. I don't know what else to say, because I'm just going to move on now, because this is going to go for like 30 minutes if I don't stop. Uh, but my number six, moving on now, is going to be Secret Warriors issue number two. Not ranked as high this time as it was last time, I'm pretty sure. But still loving this series. Great issue. Um, Howl and Commando show up. Great stuff. Um, well, I just said Howl and Commando show up. Great stuff. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Um, I love the team dynamic. I, lo I love the group. Miss Marvel kind of just, I don't know. She's not as great in this series as I liked her in her original series and whatever i don't know and she's not drawn as well I, I actually do like the art in this book some people might not but i actually like it i uh, love quake she's like kind of quickly becoming one of my favorites uh seeing karnak's great moon girl is great in this book i i i've already regretted not picking up moon girl never the last year, but now i'm regretting it more uh because it's probably a good read um um yeah, I don't know. Um, but th at the end, it's the New Mutant N Nation of New Tyant. And that they go to and whatever. It's a nice cliff cliffhanger. Can't wait to read the next issue. And I'm going to move on now. Um, since I'm losing my words. To my number five. I'm getting thirsty now. Uh, which is Amazing Spider-Man. Issue number 30. Holy shit. Spider-Man has been a bit not as good lately to me. Since Clone Conspiracy. It's not, I mean... 25 was fire. It was a great issue. And 26 was good. But ever since 27, I've been a bit disappointed in this book. Uh, 28 was pretty good. But 27 kind of was eh. 28 was a good ending to the Osborne identity. But it was still at some parts a bit eh. And then... The last issue was a bit eh for the kicking off the Secret Empire story. But this issue was awesome. Starts off great. The beginning might be my favorite part of this book. We start off in spy in the thick of it. Oh my god, Captain America is Hydra, or whatever is said. It is a great moment of realization of what is happening in the Secret Empire. It's great. And see Spidey kind of acting as leader for a bit there. Um, ordering people around and stuff. And then seeing him and Mockingbird being all lovey-dovey. And it's, oh my god, it was so good. And it just kept being good. This issue was great. Was an awesome, suspenseful issue. With promise of a great battle at the end. And Finn's tides turn on Spidey when his equipment turns on him. Because Auk, of course, he created the company. And oh my god. Thank you. My faith in Amazing Spider-Man has been restored for now. Because I've been kind of losing interest in Amazing Spider-Man. But now, just because all the good stuff I'm reading right now. But frig, this was a good issue. This was a fucking great issue. Now I'm going to move on to my number four. Which is Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider. Issue number five. And this was a great and fun issue. Uh, I meant to actually pick up issue number six in the next haul, but oh well, in the latest haul I'm going to record later, but oh well, I didn't. Um, just stay caught up because I'm loving Ben Riley. Um, great issue, Ben and Kane face off. The interaction between those two characters is great. See how far gone Ben's, Ben's mind is after being tortured by the Jackal. It's great stuff, and he bargains with a little girl's life to save his own life, and mmm, ah, oh, this is good. I can't, I can't. I'm gonna move on now to my number three, and it's gonna be Generations the Phoenix, number one one shot. By the way, DC books top two. There were the last two I read from this haul. DC on top this time. Let's go, DC. I, I, man, I, I regret not reading more DC right now. Um, Generations to Phoenix. 
let me just get down here. How good was this book? This was a great read. The best Marvel book in this haul by my standards. This is why I like, this is why I love Jean Grey. This is why I love Jean Grey. This one shot was probably better than all the issues so far of Jean Grey. Although I did really enjoy Jean Grey issues number three and four, but this was probably the best issue of Jean Grey that's come out this year. And this isn't even the regular Jean Grey series. So, if you love Jean Grey, you love the classic Phoenix stuff, pick this goddamn book up. This was so fucking good. Seeing the inner exploration of Jean Grey exploring her past slash future self in the Phoenix was fucking great. The deception that she sees, how mentally fucked the Phoenix is, Jean Grey Phoenix is, Jean Grey, older Jean Grey trying to find out younger Jean Grey's issues. It, whew, this was just a good read. I can't. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm just going to move on now to my number two, which will be my number one. And I regret putting this at my number two because I really fucking enjoyed this book. But I read a whole mini series, and it was so good. And it's one of my favorite, probably one of my favorite DC characters or Batman-related characters. So that had to be my number one. But my number two is Mr. Miracle issue number one of 12 that is right i told you this was a fucking great issue and that that's what it was tom king back at it again after people not really enjoying his run on batman and just from one issue i didn't even uh, the one issue i read where tom king was fully writing which was issue number two it was kind of not the best issue but Tom King, when he writes lesser known or lesser popular characters, somehow he makes them great. This was fantastic. This is another psychological book at its finest. Generations played on the psychology of the two Jean Greys. And this one took it up a notch. And what the fuck was happening in this issue? Whatever was happening, I loved it. This was great. The art works so well with the story. I was iffy about the art at first, but the art is fucking fantastic. The story, oh my god, Mr. Miracle escaping death, killing himself. The images he's seeing and his mind is so fucked up, I feel like I'm reading a fucking Moon Knight issue. Like, that's kind of what it's playing with, like. What is going on with the psychology of Mr. Miracle right now? It's so great. He's seeing things. Stuff's happening. What's going on? Oh my god. Apocalypse is coming. Dark side's coming. Whatever. God. I, okay. I, yeah. One of the best reads of the year. Right here. Mr. Miracle, issue number one. If you haven't picked this book up yet, please... Go pick it up. Unless you're not a, that big a fan of comics. If you're a big fan of comics or like you've read quite a few superhero comics and stuff. This is a deconstruction of a character's psychology. And it's really great. Uh, just pick this book up. It's great. If you, if you love comics, you have to be reading this. Give it a try. I, I don't know. If you don't like it. I, I don't know. I love this. So I'm sorry if you don't like it. But that is some fantastic story. Telling right there. And the art is just. Mwah. Now moving on to my number one. How you how does this top that. And that. Poison Ivy. Psycho Life and Death. The mini series. My number one. I love Poison Ivy so much. The, 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 her, the dynamic of her having kids. And the little characters here and there. That she interacts with between Harley in the first issue. And the Catwoman comes into it. And the guy, the few guys she talks to and stuff. For the series. And the new fill-in. And Swamp Thing at the end. And oh, it was just an awesome journey. And a really fun story. And that's part of the reason I think it is my number one. Because it's an emotional kind of story. Of up and downs. Because... A bit because it is a tad bit sad at certain parts with her kids, like being so whatever and and 
not appreciating her and kind of leaving whatever and um then just like people uh i don't know maybe it's not that sad but it's just a really fun book it's kind of sad what's sad about it is how poison ivy has been sought out as the bad guy for years but really poison uh, pamela ivy isn't that bad of a person poison ivy isn't that bad it's the world as i was saying before i got cut off i'm sorry for the cut but i can't redo this video now this this is over half an hour of video i can't read i can't do another take and plus the passion that i put in this video is odd i wasn't expecting it i was i thought i was just gonna do a humdum regular video but this haul was truly great with some awesome reads and some of the best reads I've had all year, to be honest. And Poison Ivy was great. I don't know where I got cut off when I was talking, but I was just saying before how this this mini series really explores Ivy's personality and why she does what she does. Well, also, it's that's not even the central focus, though. That's just in the background. That's in the the forefront. That's not even in the forefront, but that's like, if you pay attention to the story, you really get to see why poison ivy is considered so evil and why she kills why she does what she does she's really not that bad of a person all around and the little relationship and character interactions are, are so great with her and catwoman and her and harley it's awesome stuff and then she has her kids and the kids are great uh and i wish she had an ongoing with the kids and everything i just i wish poison ivy had an ongoing i i, I really wish this wasn't a mini series this was really good really enjoyed it and I think that's all for this video. I This is only going to be like a few minute extra after the cut. But I ran out of storage space on my phone. So I had to delete some stuff so I could come back and finish this video. I was going to record my comic call right after this. But I'm going to have to wait now until this video gets uploaded probably. Um, but once I edit this video together. Um, usually once I uh, once when I do an edit video it uploads quicker. So hopefully that will upload quicker a bit. Since this is a bit of a longer video. And then I can come back and record the comic call quickly. So I can um, stream and whatever. But luckily I need to eat anyway. So it's fine. But holy shit. This was a great haul. And I might try to do the other rank today. So I can put some comics away. But yeah. Anyway guys. If you enjoyed this video. As much as I did. Or just at all. Please would like, subscribe, comment, and share if you would like to. And anyway guys. I will see you all in the next video, whatever that shall be. It should be that com the, an all-new comic haul. And tune in for what should be a stream later. And anyway, guys, I will see you all in the next video. And peace out. Bye, guys and gals. Because any anybody watching, I love you all. And peace out. Bye.